Hi, I'm John Hall, and today we're going to take a look at the delete face command in SOLIDWORKS. The delete face command is a great way to remove geometry in any sort of scenario where you need to actually remove a series of faces, whether it be a hole or a fillet, on geometry that you don't want to have to edit an entire feature history tree for. So as a quick example, we're going to take a look at this imported part, which has no file feature history. If you take a look at this model, we have a completed 3D solid, and it's one imported feature. What we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at removing some small fillet surfaces so that we can do things like add a chamfer or add a different fillet back in. So what we can do is we can use the delete face command to accomplish this result. The delete face command isn't on any standard toolbar like the features toolbar, but what you can do is you can turn on the direct editing toolbar inside of SOLIDWORKS to easily access that. You could also search for this command using the search uh, icon up at the top right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use this delete face command to remove a filleted surface. So what this will do is it will take and remove this surface uh, when I do a delete face, and I have the options to either delete that, delete and patch, or delete and fill that with a tangent fill. With a delete and patch, what this is going to do is it's going to remove that face and turn all of the rest of the geometry into a series of surface bodies. Then it will patch up the uh, surrounding faces, extend them, and create a filled location. So with the delete and patch, you'll see that it, what it will do is it will create a nice sharp corner for me at that location instead of a fillet. It's a great way to kind of remove a, any sort of surface that you don't need. Now you could also use the delete face command to remove a series of faces. So for instance on this series of tangent fillet faces here, I could use the delete face command to delete and patch that up and get a nice sharp, sharp intersection where those two come together. Another great use for the delete face command is to remove any sort of hole or pocket. All I need to do is grab all of the surfaces that make that up, so we'll use our select tangency command here. And I'll use my delete face command to then delete and patch that. And now I'm left with one single filled body. So the delete face command is a great way to remove any sort of geometry and patch up the boundaries to create a nice, smooth, uh, sharp surface where those lo locations used to be. That's been my tip for today. Thank you for watching.